Hey everybody, Dieter Bowen here for PreCentral.net and we have a WebOS 2.0 over here on the right on the Palm Pre 2 and over on the left we have WebOS 1.4.5 on Verizon and I uh, figured we should do a little speed test. Um, you can see I've got um, Verizon uh, WebOS 1.4.5 patched up but just so that you can see what our baseline is so that we are starting on the same page. This is set up on the Palm default profile which is clocked at 500 megahertz. Um, of course, I don't have any patches or anything installed on WebOS 2.0, but we know that it is running at 1 gigahertz, and it's also running on WebOS 2.0, which should be faster by default. So we're going to just launch some web pages here. We'll get started here, and you can see right away that this uh, initial card launched a heck of a lot faster on uh, the uh, 2.0 device. But let's just launch the precentral.net homepage. Here as well. One, two, three, go. And uh, this is more of a rendering test than a bandwidth test. These are both on the uh, same Wi Fi network because obviously this is a AT&T device and this is a Verizon device, and so we don't want to test that. Um, but you can see that um, this thing seemed to, uh, on 2.0, grab it much more quickly. And it also notes that there's a WebOS search available here, so while uh, we're waiting for the Verizon device to catch up, we're going to add that to our default searches, which is uh, actually pretty exciting. So here we go, precentral.net. And now we can do a universal search that goes into precentral right here from the device. And uh, boy, I'm starting to think there might be something off kilter here with this WebOS device because it is still trying to load from the, uh, the get-go here, which seems odd. Let's open up another browser card just to make sure that we're not totally and completely messed up here. Well, there we go. It's able to load up Google pretty easily. Well, maybe not. Hmm. Ah, I typed it in incorrectly. Because typing on this phone is hard. Let's try that again. Just a straight Google load. There we go. Let's give this another shot at precentral.net. Aha, now it's loading up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and blame that on a uh, internet failure. But you can see it's taking quite a bit longer to uh, render uh, the full, uh, fairly heavy precentral.net homepage on uh, the 1.4.5 device than it is on the Palm Pre 2. Uh, let's try another test here. Let's go with uh, Angry Birds, shall we? A N. A-N-G-R. All right, one, two, three. And so obviously the uh, WebOS 2.0 device is loading it up much more quickly. And there it is, we're ready to play. And here now we're ready to play here. So uh, not a huge difference there, but uh, definitely a little bit faster on the uh, WebOS 2.0 device. And uh, let's try one more app here. What have I got on both of these devices? Oh, I've got NFL Sunday Ticket on both devices. That's a fun app. Of course, there's no football playing right now. But if there were... Okay, well, I'm not going to show you my login. And uh, let's see, I've got um, Flixster on both of these devices. And, oh, that one didn't work out so hot. But there we go. So uh, the 1.4.5 clocked at 500 megahertz. It's not the end of the world, but it is definitely uh, a bit faster on the WebOS 2.0 device. Uh, let's see, if I got the Palm homepage still? No, I don't. I'll just go to palm.com. I've got it bookmarked here by default. So we'll both see who can render it faster. And there you go, the uh, WebOS 2.0 device is rendering the whole page much more quickly. And there, WebOS 1.4.5 finally catches up. 
But I know you're wondering if you are a home brewer, if this same test will look the same if you are overclocked. So let's go ahead and go to uh, WebOS 1.4.5 and let's go crazy and overclock this thing up to 1 gigahertz. We'll go with screen state 500 1000. So this is now clocked at a gigahertz on the uh, older processor. And then we'll just go ahead and leave that open. And we'll open up web browsers. And wow, that uh, actually looks almost a little bit faster. So we're just going to go to uh, history here. And we're going to load up precentral.net on both devices, the full page. And they're very close. Oh, look at that. The 1.4.5 device is just a little tiny bit ahead. Oh, catching up. Neck and neck. There, 2.0 just barely beat it. And of course it beat it with the ability to display flash ads if that's your thing. Uh, let's try uh, an Angry Birds launch here. We got Angry Birds there. One, two, three. And very, very similar in both cases. Not bad at all. And I believe I have Flickster on both of these. Oops. One, two, three. An error message there some reason but boom both very quick and uh, let's try one more page let's see what's something that uh, is pretty heavy to render let's just uh, let's go to crackberry.com type a little bit more solely on this Verizon device because I have some keyboard issues with it and we'll go one two three and we're both loading. And oh, it's going to the mobile version on uh, the 1.4.5 device and the full version on uh, the 2.0 device. So it's identifying itself a little bit differently. Let's see if we can get caught up by exiting the mobile view. Not bad, not bad. So you're seeing that the uh, speed difference between a 1.4.5 device overclocked at a gigahertz and a 2.0 device running natively at a gigahertz isn't massive. It's uh, it's actually not um, not completely uh, horrendous. And oh, let's just launch some uh, some setting apps here. So we'll launch sound and preferences. Virtually identical. And we'll launch show we'll say Wi-Fi settings. Again, virtually identical. But now if we go back on this 1.4.5 device and we set it back to the palm default, now we're now back down to 500 megahertz. And let's launch, oh, say device info. No, I don't want to show you my, my stuff. How about we launch uh, the update checker? And you can see the 2.0 device running at natively at a gigahertz is much faster. When you are not overclocked. So there you go, that is the speed difference between a 1.4.5 device and a 2.0 device and also the speed difference between a 500 megahertz processor and a 1 gigahertz processor, although again when you overclock the speed difference is not as noticeable. So we'll overclock and we'll just do one more card and let's launch uh, YouTube here. I've got uh, YouTube on both of these devices. One, two, three. Very, very similar. Alright guys, plenty more content about WebOS 2.0 over at precentral.net. Thanks for watching.